Oh my God. Big shout out to these people who have downloaded these videos for this channel got deleted because there are some things that were filmed by Ruby and posted on this channel that I would have thought would be gone forever. Like clips that aren't super popular that you're not seeing resurfaced everywhere. I've come across on TikTok and we're gonna be watching them together and reacting to them together because they are so disturbing. I found a ton and if I am not able to react to all of them in this video, which I probably will not be able to because trust me, there was a lot of them, then give this video a thumbs up and a comment down below and let me know if you want me to do another video like this. I just feel like these videos need to be seen. It's been kind of hard to come across some of the deleted eight passengers videos. So we're gonna react to some of the ones that I found. Now there is one in particular that I just wanna say, and I'm gonna get it out of the way at the very beginning that whoever edited this video, they edited it in a way that is extremely annoying. So if you feel annoyed while you're watching it, just know deep down I am too. The reason why I wanna show this is because of the amount of clips where we see that her children are sleeping on bathroom floors. All right, Russell, I'm ready to make your bed, okay? Let's see what we can come up with. Okay, what do you think, Russell? Is this bed gonna work? This little boy is the same child that was duct taped, sleeping on a bathroom floor next to a toilet. And he's tiny in this clip. You guys, I am mad. This never should have been allowed to happen, ever. Mm -hmm. When these kids play, they play hard. That is actually not her child. That is her nephew. That I believe is um, Bonnie's son, which I have my own opinion about her. I will link that video down below if you have not seen it. Show that Abby, Abby is the very first one to sleep, to sleep in the sick, in the sick bed, bed in her bathroom. In her bathroom. <laughs> guess you could throw. I apologize for the way this video is edited. It is extremely annoying. I wish these people didn't edit it like this. Does anybody put their kids on a bathroom floor when they're sick? If you're watching this and you do that, don't do that. Give them a bed and put like a trash can next to it that they can throw up in if they wake up in the middle of the night. Like, like why would you put your child on a bathroom floor and make them sleep like this as frequently as she did. Yes, you could throw up in the toilet, but it's in the tub. The construction crew might get mad at you. They're coming tomorrow. You sleep last night. You did? You slept good on the tile floor? Y'all, she's literally sleeping on towels in a bathroom. On a ba Can you imagine being sick? Like, you don't feel good. You're sick out of your mind. And then your mom's like, yeah, go sleep in the cold bathroom on towels. Sometimes when you're sick, that's the only thing I can get you to drink. I don't normally give the kids a Christmas present, but I wanted to give these gifts this year. Remember so... when you, you gave us your a mini pocket knife? That's oh, look at this! It's so oh, And then the other one! Oh, what? what the? <laughs> wow. You caught me like a. Dang. You caught me like a dagger. <laughs> <laughs> what do I use with this? <laughs> I just thought that we have fish in the backyard and if we ever wanted to Stop eat it. fish. Merry Christmas, all of you. Yeah, you heard that right. It was Ruby Frankie saying to her kids, I don't normally get them a Christmas present, but I wanted to this year, meaning she doesn't get her kids presents. And then that year she got each of them a knife. What is wrong with this woman? It is not healthy for Chad to be on Instagram. Deleting his Instagram account. Chad was getting a lot of his identity from Instagram. Is I'm just gonna pause that right there. Chad was getting a lot of his identity from Instagram. What are you doing on YouTube? Except you're literally profiting off of your, your children instead of yourself. I've noticed in a lot of the clips I've seen of Ruby, I don't know if you guys have seen this as well, but she tends to act jealous over her children. I'm gonna show you guys a couple of those as well in a little bit. Not healthy. He would put up a photo and he wouldn't even have a caption on it. He'd just have like an emoji. And there would be 
hundreds and hundreds of comments. Just trying to do what's healthiest for all of our children. Morning, passenger. I just find that so funny that like she thought it was unhealthy for her son to be getting comments on his Instagram, but your job is social media. Where you're profiting off your kids, like you're putting your, like, how narcissistic could this woman be and hypocritical and dumb that she would literally film Chad, put him on YouTube and put him on her Instagram and totally fine with all those hundreds and thousands of comments. But if he was getting it on his own, then she had a problem with it. We need to delete it. Oh, this woman's nasty. Arms to your side. Here's the plans for today. God, you will not invite a friend. Are you actually serious? I'm dead serious. I want some listening. Here's what we're gonna do. You're gonna go outside on the cool grass and you're gonna get a bagel and you're gonna get a banana. You will eat merch. Merch, you pick up those feet. Merch. I've noticed that she used food a lot against the kids, like obviously like not allowing them to eat, but I mean, she would film them eating. Like there's multiple clips where she's yelling at them like a drill sergeant and telling them what they're gonna eat and how they're gonna eat it. And it's very weird and bizarre to me. You're gonna go in the cold grass and eat a bagel and a banana. I'm gonna film you while you do it. Fucking weirdo. Could it be that you're packing before you grow? Maybe. A lot of boys your age pack and then grow. So maybe you're packing. Maybe. Maybe. So that's Why would she film that and put that on the internet? I really won't get anything for summer. I won't be able to go anywhere. No. I don't have any friends. No iPads, no TV, nothing. I hate to tell you this, honey, but unless you find a friend who's willing to share some of their food with you, I don't I don't think you're gonna be able to eat. But if you're not responsible for your lunch and your lunch money, that's the natural consequence. Natural consequence right there. I just did a video talking about that where Ruby Frankie's sisters who claim they do not agree with Ruby Frankie were reading a book about natural consequences and parenting their kids the exact same way that Ruby is, okay? This, this stuff with not letting them eat, that's what they consider a natural consequence. That video will be linked down below. If you have not seen it, you need to go watch it because it is disturbing. And I'm really sorry you're learning this the hard way. I will have a wonderful, yummy snack. Just hang in there today and, and- I can't imagine my child being at school and being hungry and knowing they're hungry and not giving a f about it. Just make it make up your mind you're gonna be really careful and make sure you grab your stuff when you go to school next time. And maybe you have a, a good friend who will share some of their sandwich with you or something. Russell, I'm really sorry. He sounded like- he was going to cry. Why are you smiling about that? Weird ass woman. Yeah, I need to go to the store. Stop. Just stop. It's true. Just stop. No, that is not Run true. Room. Can you see all the food going on in the kitchen today? I am going to the grocery store this afternoon. We're getting mad because her kid is saying that there's no food and she's like getting mad at him because of it. Please tell me we're not the only ones who have ever come into the store and had a meltdown. <laughs> Is she really filming this random woman right now? That is so rude. No, I wouldn't be the first. <laughs> That's good to know. I'm gonna take my kids home, feed them all broth, and put them to bed. Did she just say she's gonna take her kids home, feed them broth? I think they need something a little bit more substantial than broth. Hold on, I gotta go, I gotta go back to more in that video. Now that you know your size, I want you to grab, grab a few of them. Why is she filming her preteen daughters getting bras? Oh, this is why I hate family channels. Where's your sister? Hi. We lost Eve. Where is she? Eve. And then she just left. Did she go with Russell? Did she go with Chad? This is not the first time that Ruby Frankie has not known where her youngest daughter Eve is. You know how dangerous that is? That little girl could have been abducted on numerous occasions because Ruby was neglecting to watch her. Okay, this is exactly what I'm looking for. Okay, so they have- She just continues to look for bras while her younger daughter is literally missing in the store. So they have different colors. This is exactly what you need. It's kind of like the NYX thing up and it has a little bit of padding in it. Mm -hmm. If I don't see Eve show up, I'm going to start to worry here real soon though. I would be worried the second I didn't know where my kid was. Why is she hesitating to figure out where her child is? Eve, mommy really needs to lay down, take a nap. So we're gonna eat lunch, then we're gonna eat a popsicle outside, and then 
We're gonna lay down on the bed and close our eyes. Ruby Frankie looks exactly like Miranda sings in this video, and that is definitely not a good thing, looks or personality wise. And do you know what Eve said? I said yes. And I was so impressed. I was like, Eve, you said yes. So we went and laid down, and I got all comfortable, and I started dreaming. And then the phone call. And it was Kevin saying, Julie's been trying to get a hold of you. She's throwing up at school and you need to go get her. So, we're gonna head over to the school. We are going to get Julie and then we'll come back and take you to dance. Okay? Okay. As far as I can tell, the only downside to having this big camera. Her daughter is throwing up at school and she goes and grabs a camera and sits on the couch and starts filming a video with Eve about how her daughter is sick at school. Your child is throwing up at school. Get in the car and go get her. Why are you sitting there filming yourself? talking about how she's sick at school, go get her. Th this reminds me of that clip where her daughter, I believe it was Sherry, needed to go to the ER and she said she was taking an hour in the bathroom showering and doing all this stuff before she would go take her to the hospital. Oh my God, my phone died and my cord's too small, so I'm all pushed back to the wall. Oh honey, I'm so sorry. Shall we go? Mm -hmm. I still need to get my stuff done. Okay, how long have you been waiting for me? Over an hour. She just said she had been waiting on her mom to show up for over an hour. Mm -mm. My kid was sick at school. I would be there. That's ridiculous. Turn this on. Ew. <coughs> what kind of syrup is that? I do not even want to say out loud what that looks like. That looks disgusting. That's sick. I would never eat that. No wonder your kid's crying and doesn't want to eat that. That looks like something you'd be making another baby with not putting on pancakes. That's just, ooh. We bless the food, but we need to have family prayer. Stop crying or I'm gonna have you go upstairs and you won't have any breakfast. Okay. Oh my god. Oh. Stop crying or you don't get to eat. One of the numerous reasons why Ruby Frankie would not let her children eat food. Every one of the kids has chores that they know that they have to do, right? Mm -hmm. The basics. I want the dog poop in the backyard cleaned up as well. Notice how in this next clip, Eve's not there, which means she probably didn't get to eat breakfast. Not that I would want to eat whatever the hell was on those pancakes anyways. But that's awful. My birthday is only in two days. And I want to get some candy. Okay, I'm trading six. How many fingers is that? You have to use two hands? Yes. That means you're officially old if you have to use two. Tell everybody what you told me you wanted for your birthday. Ears, peers. I don't have them. I need one. I really need some. They put a needle in your ear, honey. It hurts really bad. No, but Abby said that that needle doesn't hurt. And guess what? It does though. No, I don't care. <laughs> Eve, I'm gonna tell you no. Not this year. You know what's so sad about that is that whenever she was filming her and asking her about what she wanted for her birthday, she was probably really excited thinking that she was gonna get that. It was like she wanted to rub it in and make her feel bad that she wasn't gonna get what she wanted for her birthday. It was just mean. We're on our front porch and I'm giving you a little sneak peek of our new door. It came. That's not the door handle we're gonna use though. That's just a temporary handle. I can't wait to show you the house tour. Birthday thing from school. Eve's birthday is coming up and she has not stopped talking about it since last year. Did you guys notice how she said that like she was jealous? I've noticed that with her kids in numerous clips of her where when she's like talking about her kids, she comes off like she's jealous of them. And that was just another one of those instances. It was almost like she was jealous and didn't want it to be all about Eve. It's children in the house. 
One of them is to feed them one at a time. I know it seems like a lot of extra work and you know what, it kind of is because I'm like individually warming up plates of food. However, what? I can ensure that each child sits and eats and then I just rinse off one dish and put it in the dishwasher at a time and it just seems like. That is the dumbest thing I've ever heard of in my entire life. You're telling me that you had your kids come in one at a time to eat. We got, we got to keep watching this one. Less overwhelming and the other kids can just play down in the basement or outside and then I'll call them in each one at a time. This is another way she used food as control. This is another way, making the kids sit there and wonder when it was gonna be their turn to eat. And they had to wait and come and eat one at a time. And not to mention, in, these, in this video in particular, a lot of their cousins were there. So it wasn't just them. They had like a whole bunch of other kids there at the same time. And they had to wait on each kid to eat one at a time. And she filmed it. She filmed each kid coming in and eating their meal. This is weird. This is really, really weird. Now the baby's in there. You let the baby eat after all the rest of them. Okay. It's Lucy's turn. No one that she has it. She's supposed to eat it herself. Okay. But she just doesn't want to hold the spoon. She wants to grab it with her teeth. Why is she acting like she's never had kids before? What did you eat, Mom? I don't have a, I don't have a, it was hot, hun. It's hot. You can't just grab it. It's hot. Because there's, I don't have a playpen, or a, sorry, a, um, eating seat? What's that called? What is wrong with this woman? She has all these kids and she doesn't know what a high chair is or know how to feed a baby. Probably don't know how to feed a baby because you were starving all your kids this whole time. Gotta end it with that. I don't think I can watch another clip of this woman today. I think if I have to listen to Ruby Frankie, my ears and eyes are gonna start bleeding. I don't know what I just watched. I really don't. Have you guys seen these clips of eight passengers? Let me know in the comments down below. And if you would like to see more videos like this where I react to some of these clips that I have found, let me know because there are a lot more. We will definitely do that. If you are interested, give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any more videos from me.